Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today we'll be taking a look at course play for Farming Simulator. We will be looking at the fill and empty shovel part of course play. Also today I have my little brother with me to try and help me continue to reduce the awkwardness of talking to a computer and to try and liven up things a bit because I was told by my sister that I am very dull, which I say it's true anyway, so never mind that, let's get started. So now, we'll start off by selecting your loading shovel. This also works with a tractor and loader or a telehandler. It works with any tree. The only problem you might have with the tractor and loader is it might be able to lift high enough to get it into your your uh, biodigester over there or your auger, whatever you want to call it. And what the proper name is for so start off, bring up course bit. We want to go to our fill and empty shovel. We we'll probably want to go well, we want to go backwards from the pit. I generally just back around the corner. You don't have to, you can start facing straight into the pit, it doesn't really matter, it's just my own preference to back around the corner. So we'll start course recording. So now one of the first things I'll do is I'll set up my my um, loading position as you can see there. So I just want to lift up the bucket a bit and turn down the bucket. You don't want it digging into the ground because then he can't turn. And when he can't turn he won't be able to, to drive into the pit. Never mind picking it up. No. So we just want to tip it up a bit. You want it relatively close. You don't want it like that high off the ground or he'll miss bits on the bottom. So you want it well down and you want to just make sure that he turns nicely. So somewhere about there should do the job. So now, once we have that set, we click on this, it turns itself green and says OK. So now, we drive into the drive into the face of the pit. So we'll drive in somewhere about here now. And we'll set up a waypoint. So we select the waypoint, and that waypoint is just there to tell the loading shovel, or the loader operator, that he has to put the bucket in the loading position now. And that means he'll just fill it. So if we drive forward, he'll fill that up. And when he does that himself, he'll turn up the bucket and put it into transport position. So transport position, we turn the bucket fully up. And we probably want to do the full pit now. You might want to just, you know, have her, have her nicely up for coming up and down the pit. So we'll just have it like that. Should do somewhere about there, should. And we'll set it to transport position. And now we'll want to continue to drive down to the very end of this. Because if you don't... The loading shovel won't pick everything now with the pit, so we want to go down. Ah, somewhere about there. Once the front wheels go off the pit, you'll be uh, you'll be should be okay there. Once, as long as the loader, the bucket goes past all the silage, then you're grand. You know how you get it off. So we set another waypoint. We select a reverse, and we just reverse out of the pit. You could just drive straight out and around. It's up to yourself, but I just generally reverse out of the pit. It's just as handy. We just reverse on back, we go around the corner, and we get some far somewhere about there. So when we unclick, we just click on the reverse again, and that stops his, him from reversing. And that is a must. If you don't do that, he'll try and turn around in the pit to drive out, and then it, it's just messy. So when you want to reverse, always click on the reverse start reverse driving. You don't have to set waypoints or anything. You just click that and it tells him he's in reverse. So now we drive up to the pit. Or we drive up to the yeah the biodigester. So we want to set her pre-unloading position. So that is up as high as she goes. That's what where you want your pre-unloading position. So we continue driving on. And you want to drive in roughly in between the two. Because this only accepts a certain amount of silage at a time. I think it's somewhere around 27,000, something like that. And once it reaches that amount, it only takes in a bit by bit and it becomes a slow job. That only is a problem in real time. But you can see there is, is speed 1. When you've been 120 times real time, you should have no bother. He'll tip away the finest. So now, if you right click and I want to get rid of, hide the mouse and right click and do that you swipe sideways and that allows your high tip bucket to tip 
Now, I'm only after finding out that. I played in this game for ages and I never knew that. I'm only after finding that out. So, very handy for, for filling these. So, then we want to go into our loaders and set this as our unloading position. We want to go back into our course plate control and set this as a waypoint. And then we want to select start reverse driving and just back back. And we want this is sort of a must now. You want to back back further than your start point. You always want to make sure your end point is in sort of a, a line, a straight line with your start point. That means that he, he just literally stops and goes straight to start point, which is only a few meters in front of him, and he's grand. He used to do a lot of turning and twisting, you can get into problems. So we just end course there, and now we turn to drive course. And he should, once he gets around that corner and gets to that way, but he'll drop the bucket onto the ground, and he'll fill himself up and go back. So, this is handy enough. Once you know what you're doing, it, it's grand, it works fairly well. And making silage is one of the best ways of making money on farm simulator. You get something like 3,000 euro a ton or litre, whatever way they work it. And it's just serious, I think. It just makes huge money. So, that that's really it now. If, if you had the silage grab on that, or even with the telehandler, if you have the boom out or the silage grab open or closed, that records all that. Anything you do with the loader, when you when you set it in your shovel positions, that's all recorded, so you don't have to worry about that. You might, if you were using the tractor and loader, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but you might run into bother, because the tra I don't think the tractor and loader will ever lift high enough to get into it. And I've never used the tractor and loader purely because the bucket just isn't big enough. It isn't just worthwhile. That's why you rather use the loading shovel if near enough to purpose pin job for the, the, the thing. So that's that's really it now. Straightforward enough. My next video will be on um, picking up silage with a wagon and bringing it into the pit. Um, one of the quickest and easiest ways of making silage. Just to let you show you how to do it using course play and make money in the process. So that's it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Please don't be afraid to leave a comment. Let me know if you want me to show you anything or have any advice for me. It's all appreciated. So that's it from me now. Good luck.